Hey guys. Okay, so I want to render my commentary on Jess Hilarious's post about transgender women because the comment section is really starting to give me a rash. So let me break this down to you. People can do whatever they want to with their bodies. Instead of worrying about people who are willingly admitting that they feel displaced in their gender, you need to be concerned about your baby daddy who's sucking dick on Melrose every night when you think he's at work. That's what you really need to be concerned about. Transgender women, from what I know, do not hate biological women, but this narrative is being spun, um, and I don't like it. I'm gonna address it more on season seven, but that should be your real concern. And let me also say this. Gay people have always been here. Transgenders have always been here, okay? We just are at a point in our history where we can freely express ourselves. And for some of you, that ruffles your feathers. It makes you insecure. Uh, for some of you, you would prefer that we stay in the closet with the bullshit and participate in heterosexual activities knowing that in genuinity, that is not how we feel, okay? Do you know how brave it is for you to go against the grain of an entire bloodline of your family and admitting that you are something so taboo to certain individuals okay i'm not saying give all of them their flowers because not everybody in a community feels the same way or shares an opinion but it's interesting to see how predominant people like tyrese and jess hilarious are re-emphasizing this bigoted narrative of non-self-expressionism even saying that certain individuals in the community are influencing children to be confused about their gender you're taking isolated incidents, exaggerating them, and putting that label on an entire community of people. That's like saying all black people like watermelon, okay? All transgender people do not feel like females gatekeep the period, but if you deconstruct the context of gender, it is more than just your anatomy. And I think that, in ultimate, is where the lines are getting blurred and people are getting confused. You are born in a body that has specific gender roles that have been assigned based upon our history as human beings. But people who go against the grain aren't necessarily against that. They're embracing a different side of their gender or their humanity. And that is their choice. That is their right. So to spin this narrative with hate versus hate, I just... I don't think it has a place in my life, okay? If you choose to operate in that level of bigotedness and that gives you joy, by all means, do what you want to do. But I'm a live and let live type of bitch. If you want to wear shit for all I give a fuck, go on and wear shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to suck a dick today and fuck a coochie tomorrow, by all means, do it. What we really need to be concerned about is these guns. What we really need to be concerned about is... Who's leading our country? Where are we going? What are we doing? What we need to be concerned about is them student loans. What we need to be concerned about is the human consciousness. Not the gay, not the trans, not the black, not the white. You know, I just wish we could all elevate to that level of ascension. But hey, I know my community does. What you doing? And if you don't agree with what somebody does with their life, then you clearly not doing enough with yours. Okay, I mean, that's that's just how I look at things. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody has an opinion. Everybody, you know, can feel how they want to feel about gender nonconformity. And me, as a black, nonconforming, gender nonbinary male, I'll say that you got to be brave to live this life. And as we are becoming more potent in society and in culture, yeah, there are going to be antagonists that emphasize the need for education and understanding. And the example that Jess Hilarious chose, I mean... As a transgender person, you can't have no period. But gender is not defined by your body. It's defined by your mentality. And your body reflects that mentality based upon decisions you choose to make for the body that God gave you. That's where the ignorance lies, okay? So hopefully with this video, I did away with some of that. And if you don't understand, it's okay. It might not be meant for you to understand in this life. But that don't mean you go down to the damn chicken coop and kill somebody because they choose to hide their dick behind. Like I said, that don't mean you go down to the chicken coop and kill nobody because they choose to hide their dick or chop that shit off. That's their dick. They can do what they want with it. And you best be lucky that they're choosing to do what they want with it because if you had it your way, you'd be pregnant by somebody who really wished that they was wearing what you got on. Rejoice, bitch. Rejoice. You done fuck with the wrong bitch, bitch. I'll put a hex on you. I'm a mad witch. We gotta have a conversation. <laughs>
We got to have a conversation, don't we? Ooh, we got to have a conversation. Hi. What's up? Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Good morning. Um, I feel the need to address something real quick, and I am going to address it. Excuse me. Good morning. I've been up since five working. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, good morning everybody. Hi, I'm Boots. I am the Hip Hop Oracle Intuitive Reader Extraordinaire. And I'm coming to you guys, not with razor blades and lemon juice today, but I definitely want to address a topic um, because a conversation definitely needs to be had. I recently, or just now, posted kind of like my rebuttal to Jess Hilarious' statements. And I want to elaborate on them because I feel like some of you are just using that video in the context of what I said to express yourself. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying that 95% of my fan base is women. Um, 5% is uh, men and others, okay? So I also want to clarify this by saying I am not transgender. I'm a gender non-binary male. I adore myself femininely. Um, and just to give you guys a little bit of context of why I was raised by a single mother adopted by her, and I feel like when I was going through puberty figuring out myself that I was paying homage to women with my aesthetic, not trying to take away from your vagina or anything of that nature. I feel more comfortably expressing both parts of my gender as a dual gendered individual and spirit. I can relate to the masculine energy and I can relate to the feminine energy. And therefore, it makes me a slight bit of an enigma in any community. Uh, the LGBT community uh, found it difficult to accept me because I wasn't gay enough. The transgender community looks at me like I'm mocking their community, so I never really fit into them either. The blacks, I was too gay to be black. The whites, I was black. So I've always been on an individualistic journey uh, when it comes to who I am and how I, how I identify myself in this reality. Um, what I do stand for and I've always stood for is the acceptance of all people no matter who they are. Um, I don't know how my words in terms of the just hilarious commentary are getting misconstrued and saying that I support transgender women uh, going after real women. I think there's, there's a place for everyone, okay? Uh, let's stick to the facts, though. People with the anatomy of a female are able to have peers. They're biologically created in a way to reproduce life. Um, I am college educated. I have a master's degree in communications and we were required to take some gender and sexuality courses. Um, and in that I learned about myself and I learned about the gender and how it is contextualized from culture to culture. The American culture views gender in a certain type of way. The Indian culture views gender in a certain type of way. And gender is on a spectrum uh, of masculine, feminine. Cis is a scientific term used to people who are biologically born with the gender that they identify identify with. Um, so I, I want to break that down and tell you guys the context in which I said my statement and where I'm coming from. Now, with that being said, I am a homosexual. Sexuality and gender are two different things as well. They're two different constructs. Sexuality is what you like. Gender is what you identify as. I'm a gender non-conforming black male who is gay. Okay. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. I have nothing against anybody, okay? I don't give a damn if you white, black, Latina, if you got a vagina, if you don't, if it's a little confusing down there, it is what it is. Live and let live. That's how I live my life. And when I am bearing witness to argumentation on two communities that are subcultures to the predominant, my whole thing is education and understanding, which is what I'm trying to throw out there. Not, you know, I don't understand why you feel some type of way. Now, I also want to talk on the topic of generalization, because what we're doing right now is a lot of lumping together. Like, in my comment section, y'all are saying, they feel this way. Well, have you met all of them? You see what I'm saying? Like, or you're saying that in my experience, transgender women have been rude to me, but does that mean that all transgenders are going to be rude to you? I, I think that it's very ignorant and bigoted for people in my comment section to be talking like this as I view people as having a human experience as spiritual beings and spirit don't have no gender. 
Okay, so I, I wanted to come here and break my revamp real quick just to let you guys know I'm on neither side, okay? I'm by myself. I've been by myself. I've built a community of loving and accepting people by myself, okay? Um, and I, I, I feel like, you know, as I've been gone for this month, ignorance is taking hold of your mind and I need to dismantle that. Now... The baby daddy statement that I made in that video was a generalization on people who ignorantly speak about transgender individuals. Not just hilarious specifically, but if she was to clap back, I'll clap. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what I was saying. I was saying like, you're making a generalization on all transgender women, right? So, so what you as the generalized person need to do is worry about your life and not worried about what somebody else is saying. Now, the transgender baby in the video, that is a poor example of representation. Okay. I feel like the const what she was trying to say <coughs> was that gender does not lie in your anatomy. It lies in your mind. So she's in the video, she's attuning having a period to that representing women. And in her mind, womanhood is represented in the mind, not in the body. Okay. Um, I got what she was trying to say, but I also get what Jess Hilarious is trying to say. When you come from a... Uh, a lineage of women who have always been persecuted since the dawn of time, not to mention black women who are underpaid, underestimated, and have to fight 10 times harder to get to where you're trying to go. Well, now what the media has done and propaganda has done is giving you a target to relinquish your frustration when really and truly you should be upset at the system that got you where you are at. <laughs> Not transgender people who are just fighting to have the right to express themselves and use the bathroom. Don't think of me as an antagonist or protagonist in this situation. I'm just looking at it for what it is. And both communities, black women and transgender women, have something in common. You both aren't equal in terms of the masses. And what propaganda and media is doing is is stirring conflict because conflict makes money yeah okay so unsheepify yourself on my platform seriously you might not understand why that little boy decides that he wants a vagina today but does that mean that that little boy can't use the bathroom does that mean that that little boy hates you because you naturally have a period. I'm not speaking for all of them, but some little boys who turn into women don't feel that way. So the generalizations in general, lump summing people based upon your personal experience or the propaganda that you are given is conflict that doesn't need to happen. What needs to happen is unity to dismantle the patriarchy that has us bound in the first fucking place. Okay. Again, I'm a live and let live type of nigga. I'm not transgender. I don't fit into any category. The category is fucking closed. And when you're talking about children, let's talk about the Tyrese thing real quick. Um, <clears throat> I think that the doctor did what she was supposed to do, but she addressed it to the wrong person. It should have been addressed to the parents. Let's be clear. Transgender youth is a thing. People start transitioning as early as five years old with the support of their families. Whether you agree with it or don't agree with it, as a medical professional, it is your responsibility to understand the mentality behind the gender of the child that you're dealing with. But to ask that question to the child, I think that's where the doctor made a mistake. Okay, I, you don't ask no child what gender, you know, do you identify? You ask the mother what gender does your child have so that the doctor can address them as such. You know what I'm saying? But for Tyrese to post that is perpetuating a narrative of transgender people are crazy. And that's not true. <laughs> that's just not true. That's just not true. Or transgender people are pedophiles. That's not true. I, I can't speak for all of them, just like Jess can't speak for all black women or that transgender girl can't speak for all transgender women. We do make generalizations based upon our personal experience on this life, though, in this life. So, I mean, your, your opinion is valid. It is valid. OK, no matter what you feel is valid. But at the end of the day, I, I think that certain people that have influence should perpetuate a narrative of I'm trying to get it so that we can get somewhere else and not trying to 
perpetuate, oh my God, transgenders hate us. Having that many people, 7.7 .7 million people follow you, just I feel like you should have been a bit more responsible with your platform. Okay, and if you are a black woman, if you are a woman who has felt that transgender people are attempting to, um, you know, disintegrate you or, or make you feel less than, I can't speak for you. Okay, but I can guarantee you that my aesthetic in the way that I portray myself is an homage to you. It's an honoring to you that I would step down from what is supposed to be. The pinnacle of power, that being men, right? That's the stereotypical patriarchy mentality historically referenced that I'm referring to as of right now, okay? Step down and adorn myself in a feminine light. To me, I've always looked at it as homage, but I'm non-binary though, okay? I don't want to change my anatomy. And for that, transgenders don't give me no, 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 no check mark either, what I advocate for is peace and understanding and the ascension of the human consciousness. And in order to do that, we do need antagonists like Jess Hilarious. We do. We need people to bring the conversation up. But we also need to listen and understand each other, too. It's not just rah-rah, transgenders hate me, rah-rah. It's, okay, that girl opened up a conversation. Now, let me listen to somebody who's actually educated enough to render me a level of understanding. Then I can formulate an accurate opinion and then I can advocate for that opinion instead of just running my mouth with my thumbs on social media. If you feel some type of way, what you going to do about it? You know? And some of y'all feel some type of way and ain't never had no interaction with nobody. I agree with Miguel in the comment section right now. He says the agenda is the agenda is inner divisiveness because if you can keep a people divided, you can control them. There's a bigger picture going on here. I got people in my comments talking about so you lost me as a fan on this one. Again, I don't give a fuck. That means you you only here for the frills and the thrills, and you ain't really got nothing from me. <laughs> okay, because I empower people around here. It's a very, I don't give a fuck if you worship Jesus, Satan, Jehovah, Jireh. It don't matter around here because that's the community I wish I would have had growing up. That's the community I want to log into the internet and bear witness to. You know what I'm saying? So we built that. And I'd be damned if some random people coming out of left field make me feel bad about eliciting my peacefully driven opinion. And again, when I said that thing, listen to it. Hey, guys. Commentary on Jess Hilarious's post about transgender women because the comment section is really starting to give me a rash. So let me break this down to you. People can do whatever they want to with their bodies. Instead of worrying about people who are willingly admitting that they feel displaced in their gender, you need to be concerned about your baby daddy who's sucking dick on male roles every night when you think he's at work. What I'm saying right there is you're worried about the wrong things. If a community doesn't directly impact and or affect you, you should be more concerned with the tangible connections that you have control over. That's what I'm referencing. I'm not saying that her baby daddy's sucking dick. I don't even know Jess Hilarious like that. But I think that anger is being infiltrated in this and it is displaced, especially when it comes around here. Okay. And what I was also saying is you should be happy that they are displaying how they feel instead of hiding it while you think you have a happy marriage. That's true. That's true. You so worried about somebody else expressing themselves that you are missing the mark that you people in your reality could be deceiving you. Why worry about the person who's not deceiving you? That's all I'm saying. And that 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 doesn't take away from your right to womanhood. That's just common sense to me. Why am I worried about white Ashley on a farm when I got a black dog Cerberus in my backyard? Can we talk? And if you have a comment about this, please comment it in the comment section on that last post. Oh, and also, do you guys like the new set and the new song? It's so good. Uh, please make a royal comment underneath that video, too. I just posted that right after. And social media is a game. Somebody said Jess Hilarious did that for clout. Well, I rebuttaled to it for clout <laughs> to draw attention to the new set. Do you guys like it? I hope you did. It's a game. Social media people know exactly what they're doing when they do it.
Okay, and I'm pretty sure Jess Lyrics has a publicist. I'm my own publicist. So what I say and how I move on social media is coming purely from my consciousness. No shade. Um, so if you have any questions for me about this, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. I'm down for it. I mean, I'll answer it from my gender non-binary perspective. But don't think that I don't empathize with a group of people who have been persecuted. But they gave you a target. They gave you that target. Okay, they gave you that target. There are dumb people on both sides. Okay, but why didn't Jess pick a clip where a transgender person is dissecting how she got to where she is and then attempting to garnish empathy? She chose the bigoted clip where her point got lost. If you really wanted to open up the dialogue, pick something worth debating. Not somebody, not a clip of something somebody said that was portrayed wrong and taken out of context. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There were parts of Jess's opinion I don't agree with, but that comment about her having a period was ignorant. I agree. I respect everyone's life choices. We all have a right to be happy. I agree. I agree. You, because you're transgender does not mean you can have a period. However, we're speaking from... We're speaking specifically from black males who transition to becoming women. There are also women that still do have a period that transition to becoming men. So in that context, was the girl wrong? If you're going to talk about transgender, let's talk about all transgenders, honey. Okay. But specifically what black women are talking about is black men transitioning to becoming black women. That is the specific community that was being targeted by that comment. But if you're talking transgender, you're talking men to women, women to men. And those women to men don't have no dick. They have a period. Okay, it seems like the black men who transition to women are taking the brunt of the entire transgender community, and that's not that's not all that's in there. Okay. Somebody said, all I have to say is I have a period and it's trash. <laughs> Y'all can have it. I don't want it. Why black men? Why not just men? Because black women are the ones who are in the conversation. Okay, just this is a black community conversation. Okay, we're not talking about all men. We're talking about specifically what Jess said and who she said it to. This is a subculture based on a culture. Black community and the transgender individuals, men to women in that community. That's why she said that. That's why she said that. Somebody said, yep, mine came today. Somebody said, yep, uterus problem. Mm-hmm. So that's where I was coming from. And don't put me on no damn ignorant ass level where I have to clap back and get you together in a ratchet way underneath a post that was supposed to facilitate positive conversation. Okay. It was supposed to be a dialogue that we can talk, not for you to um, elicit your anger and, and pretend like you've lost, I've lost you as a fan when really and truly you're going to watch from your burner page and still pay for readings. Kiss my ass with that. I love all people. I love our animals. I love our life. And I just feel like we're at a point in life where we need a new Gandhi. We need a new Buddha. We need a philosophical awakening because this ignorance is just too much for me. Okay. It's like, why does what I eat make you shit so bad that you have to start generalizing your personal experience dealing with one individual? Okay. And blanket that on all of them. Let me tell you who else do this. We do this with Zodiac too. If you had a bad experience with a Sagittarius, you hate all Sagittarius. If you had a, if a Taurus cheated on you, all Taurus are cheaters. <laughs> okay. If a Gemini crazy, well, that don't count because y'all are crazy. Y'all crazy as hell. Okay. And I say it and I say it again. Y'all Gemini's is crazy as hell and y'all can go. Y'all can fucking go. <laughs> okay. And this is not me stirring the pot or writing offensive. If anything, this is me being a referee. In this whole debate, okay? Because like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not in either community. <laughs> I'm not a black woman, and I'm not a black transgender male, okay? I'm gender non-binary who went to a very diverse college, University of North Carolina at Greensboro. I get along with everyone. I have clients of all races, genders, creeds, and nationalities, and religions. And I, I, I like to think that I serve as a basin of comfort for anybody, no matter what it is. And if... What you feel about 
somebody's actions makes you that enraged, do something about it. Do, go to your governor, you know, do, you know, they already just said we can't go to the bathroom and, you know, do stuff about it. But stirring, stirring a pot of vowel energy on social media ain't doing nothing for nobody. Mm. Would I be wrong to be team boots because I don't understand gender changing waist down? Sorry, not sorry. So from what I understand, and this is the only way that I can relate to it, again, gender is taught to us, okay? If we lived in a society where little boys wore dresses, I guarantee Michael Jordan to have on the best dress, <laughs> you know? Um, this is a construct that has been created by men, okay? Um, gender and the way that we are supposed to navigate within that gender based upon our anatomy is learned behavior. This is not... Um, so th this is not ingrained in us instinctually okay um you can look at the animal kingdom and, and see that the women in, in lion in the lion kingdom women are the ones that fight and bring the food back to the men <laughs> okay in our society the men go out and make the money and then bring it home to the wife it's you know so so nature has its way with that the way that i understand transgenderism is the same way that i understand my gender non-binaryism initially i didn't have a sexuality we don't have a sexuality. We, our dicks don't get hard until we're like, what, 13, 14 years old. And when that happens, your body responds in a way, or at least mine did, to certain stigma, sti uh, uh, certain stimulations that were against the grain. I found my dick getting hard when I looked at other boys and not girls. And instead of rebuking that within myself, which is what the black community would probably prefer at this time, I embraced it. I embraced it. I said, okay, well, that makes me a homosexual. So I, I, I am that. Um, Sorry about that. And then after I embraced that side of me, I got kicked off of all of the sports teams that I was on because, again, I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Y'all ask how my legs look like they look. Well, I can run a ball like a motherfucker, bitch. And I can also uh, shoot a basket, too, bitch. Okay, but I got kicked off of them teams. And um, I said, well, uh, and it was a big thing in Charlotte. Like, it, it made the news. My mother uh, was pissed the fuck off. I mean, it, it, it was big. It was a big deal down here. Um, I went to boot camp afterwards because my mother didn't know what to do. And I said, I'm still going to be gay. I know that being gay is not wrong. I know that my dick going up naturally. And again, I'm, I'm not asking my body to go up. My body is going up based upon what I'm looking at. Okay? Like, I'm looking at a nigga and my dick going up. I don't want that, okay? I, I didn't say I didn't want it, but I didn't say that I wanted it. So to people who say that it's a choice or that you're born that way, I mean, I don't know if you're born that way. I don't know if there's a gay chromosome, but I know that my dick went up when I saw another nigga. I know that that shit was hard as a motherfucking rock when I saw Danny Jordan's dick flopping around in that basketball court. And I don't know what it was, okay? You have a choice at that moment. Either embrace it or negate it, right? I embraced it against all of the grains. My mother's grain, my family's grain, all of it. I embraced it. And then from there, when I got kicked off of the teams, I said, well, I'm about to empower these girls then. And I started a modeling club at that point in time. I put on my first pair of heels and the rest is history. <laughs> and it always became about empowering, empowering girls to be unapologetically themselves. The House of Durango in 2009, I had girls running around in heels. I was running in them too, just so that we can feel that power of divine femininity amongst us. And that coming from a male was a bit taboo, but I made it, I made it acceptable in my community. And you can say that's God or whatever. So in my mind, transgender people are forced with the same thing. They are born, they go through a phase where they are becoming sexualized or realizing who they are. And in that moment, they have a choice. They can say, okay, I'm going to negate this part of me and live a heterosexual lifestyle, or I'm going to learn to, you know, like my body the way it is, or I'm going to admit to myself and everybody around me that I don't feel right in this. The same way I, my dick went up is the same way they feel by looking in the mirror. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And if you feel something ain't right and it's an itch you can't scratch, you find, we're finally at a point in life where we can say, I can do something about this. I can say something about this. Okay? Does that make sense? Do I, do I feel like we should raise children traditionally or they can put on whatever they want to put on? I'm more, and this might be where I lose some of y'all, I'm more the Megan Fox type of person. 
I'm going to put an array of clothes. I'm going I'm to I'm dress my child very neutrally uh, until they can say what they want to wear. And then if they feel like that's what they want to have on, then, you know, go ahead and do it. But I'm also going to tell them, if you choose to wear this, then you're faced with this in the world. If you choose to wear this, what makes you feel more comfortable with what you have on? Forcing a narrative of, of um, y'all are calling it a narrative of confusion, I feel like it's a narrative of options. These children are exposed to more with that goddamn iPad in their hand than we could have ever imagined as I was growing up. Bitch, the first cell phone was the size of a goddamn house phone, bitch. And now you telling me my two-year-old nephew can work an iPad better than my grandma? They are exposed, honey. They're exposed to everything. So giving them options and educating them early, I don't feel like that is persuading them to be anything other than who they are because I was not raised gay but I'm gay I was not raised to wear women's clothing but my nails look better than your baby mama's you you see but when you start breaking down societal structure in terms of gender about how we're supposed to act and what we're supposed to do I feel like that's more limiting than giving a child options. That's my opinion about it. But you can't force sexuality on nobody. Yeah, I, I, if my child said I want to marry a damn baboon, well, baboons, I would advocate for baboon sexuality <laughs> for my child. <laughs> you know, that's their life, bro. You know, but life comes with opinions. Life comes with judgments. Life comes with, you know... Having to fight. Why Why I got to fight just to be what I feel like I, I, I am? That's the big question. Why do I have to fight the black women community, the whites, the, 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 the government? Why do I have to fight to be who I am? I was born, ain't it? And if you want me to go back, I believe that it's a combination of Stimulations that we are exposed to at an early age, your spirit, as well as your bravery in the aspects of rebellion that make you who you are gender wise and sexuality wise. I think that it's a it's it's not just one thing. It's not just a gay gene. It is well, there are there are things to be said about like the distribution of chromosomes too that make you more masculine and feminine than others. I mean, not all men are big and burly. You know, some men are slender and slinky. Okay. Um, there are certain genes that make a male more high pitched in the voice than other men. You know what I'm saying? And is that preconditions to you being gay or gender nonconforming? I don't fucking know. I'm not a goddamn scientist. But what I do know is that you were born. You have lungs, you have a heart, you have a brain, you know, you got fingers, you got toes, you know, and so do you. More unites us than divides us. And ultimately, as the referee in that whole little thing, you know, I feel like if we can get there, then we done got somewhere. If we can get there. We done got somewhere where I, you have a heart, I have a heart, let's hug. Now, I hate the fact you dress like that, but you exist. And that's okay. That's what I stand for. Okay. So, to anybody in my comment section running your motherfucking mouth, I mean, the block button hot. The block button stay hot, bitch. You already know. Um, just because I've been on a revamp this month don't mean the block button ain't hot. You're not going to say what you want to say on my motherfucking page, and I'm not going to send nobody for you either. Because this topic is, is so touchy. Like, I mean, you can have your opinions. Just... You know, elicit them respectfully because I wasn't disrespectful in my video. At least I don't think I was. And if you do feel disrespected by it, DM me. Maybe we can talk about it. But but going back and forth with you on my page about what I said, nah, that's stupid to me. I'm not doing that. Okay, just know this. I love all of you. I love y'all for who you are. I love you for not what you got between your legs or if you bleed or don't bleed. And I, I have to be honest, I'm jealous that y'all have periods because you know I got to cut myself for every damn ritual when y'all can just bleed once a month. <laughs>
Y'all can collect blood in vials, bitch. I got to cut myself with every damn shit I cast, and it's 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 aggravating to me. <laughs> okay, everything I cast, I gotta go through the pain. And and just so y'all know this too, women have a lot stronger magic than men. <laughs> you literally are giving birth to the element of spirit every single month. <laughs> like me, I gotta bleed for this shit, bitch. I gotta ask permissions and shit and. You know, so I do envy that. But from what I hear about childbirth and um and, 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 and cramps and stuff, I mean I'm happy I don't have that going on, but I respect you for having that go on and taking care of the household and working a damn job and, and accomplishing your dreams and taking over the fucking world. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Women are the strongest creatures on the planet. It would help if you start to view transgenders as paying homage to you. And I know it might be a stretch because some of your experience don't reflect that. But if a man is willing to admit to himself that I feel like I should have been subordinate to the gender I was born into, don't you think that's a compliment in some way? In some way. In some way. And if you don't, that's okay. I respect your opinion. But I would, I would have the same assertion if the garbage people were going up against the water people. You know, I would have the same assertion like, we are all just fucking people. What I don't, some make a mockery. Some not all, though. Some not all. So why is it that you look at the some that do and not the some that don't? We're preconditioned for negative energy, bro. We got to get out of that shit, man. For everything that you see negative about a person or a topic that you find sensitive to you, watch someone who is advocating for the opposite. We have to consciously do that or we will start hating each other. We will start hating each other. Because hate makes money. And guess who wins at the top? The white man. The white man. When we fight, they win. And I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about the eight families that run the world. <clears throat> but you're responding to some people who made comments, though. I'm responding to everybody who made comments. I think I just dissected this thing from the top to the bottom from a black woman's perspective and a black transgender person's perspective. And I'm neither of those things. I read this thing up and down, baby. What, what the hell? I am responding to some of them and I'm generalizing for the context of what I am saying in the verbiage they're in. I'm not doing what they're doing in terms of disintegrating. I'm, do, I'm making generalizations to uplift and for understanding, sweetheart. OK, it seems like you just want to deflate because you are mad. And I'm not the one. Okay, I'm very conscious of what I spoke of. Okay, some of them yes, some of them no, some of them yes, some of them. I said, we all have a heart, and I'm about to eat yours if you keep running your goddamn mouth. We well, have to make that statement somewhere else, because I don't like your little attitude, and I don't like your default picture. Bye, Ashley. <clears throat> Thank you, brown skin. I agree with that. Keep telling y'all I'm not the motherfucking one, bitch. Okay, you take that shit over there to them weak-ass bitches. I can take the bullshit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, beautiful mystic. I'm not, I'm not on either side. And you automatically assume that I'm on the side of black transgenders because I'm gender non-conforming. But they didn't accept me either. And I am generalizing and saying they because even though I gave them a place to party and let their hair down, I wasn't invited to no parties, bitch. I was used, vastly used by most of the transgenders in my life, okay? If you want me to base it on my experience, I would be anti-trans. But I'm not that girl. You can't blame an entire community on how certain individuals have treated you, okay? 
The transgenders in Greensboro thought that shit didn't stink. Then here I come, you know, nigga bitch up in geeks throwing parties, making everybody have a good time. And next thing you know, I'm their best friend in front of their face when I can get you free drinks and get in the club. But behind your back, what he want to be? Who he want to be? He's not one of us. Okay. And yet you still come to them parties to shake your ass and get free drinks on me, right? Right? Girl, stop. Stop that mess. Okay? Mm -mm. I wish this charger would work in Jesus' name. Before I really get upset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, that charger broke. Well, I'm finna get out of here. If y'all got anything else to say to me, uh, y'all can say it in the comment section because I really do want to save this video because it is a, a good conversation, I do believe. But I think for the most part, my people understand me. If you don't, then you're not my people and you don't need to be around me. Okay, we good over here. Mm, real good. I was just, okay, there you go. Sorry. Not of us, but I'm one of one. What's better than that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, because at the end of the day, we're all people. We're all people, and that's what I stand behind. Okay, a couple of announcements. A week from tomorrow, I'm back on set. We're doing our thing. A lot of celebrity receipts dropped this month, including um, Kim and Croy, YNW, Melly got a mistrial, like I called. Thank you guys for tagging me in that. Um, there was one where Jamie Foxx was a receipt. I suggest that everybody watch They Clone Tyrone. Such a fucking good movie, and it was so good to hear Mother Erica at the end of that remix her song. Um, August the 1st at 11 o'clock a.m., I'm back on live i'll probably be live for about four hours that day and the next day i get to see my clients again really excited about that i'll be in las vegas on a girl's trip i'm taking my mother and my assistant to vegas on thursday uh we're gonna stay there until monday and then it's right back to work for me uh, if you want to pull up on me in vegas you are more than welcome to i would love to see you uh that is going down this sunday and the location will be text to you after you buy a meet and greet ticket because i got hitters and then motherfucking hitters ain't gonna hit me in vegas that day uh, what else is going on? The store opens up on October 31st. I have a new song called, um, Watermelon. <laughs> and it is going to drop, um, the day that, uh, the show is premiered and you can download it for free. That's going to be a free record for you guys. And we're working on that music video now. I'm actually going to be performing for the Squad Cookout. That is going down on August the 26th here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We got the venue. We locked it down yesterday. It is so beautiful and i cannot wait to perform for the first time since 2019 uh, and i get to perform for my lovely lovely beautiful um audience members and fans sorry got a little tongue tied there is your discount code still active the new discount code until the start of season um seven is boot throne that's b-o-o-t-z t-h-r-o-n-e uh the badu code was supposed to last but I want to switch it up because that throne looks so beautiful. We finally got it into my office, and I hope you guys like this set. I put a lot of work, time, money into the improvements. And um, it is no longer spiritsquad.org. It is bootstarot.com. Okay? Uh, which is going to take you to spiritsquad.org. <laughs> but either way, it is what it is. Um, my mother's texting me. All right. So on that note, I miss you guys very much. I miss doing the show. I miss the celebrity topics. And I thank you guys for listening to this uh my perspective on on uh the topic at hand that was brought forth by jess hilarious i don't have anything against jess i don't have anything against anybody with differences of opinions or whatever i just feel like there's common ground that can be found and that lies in the beat of the universal heart of the human consciousness we are all people we are all people and if you're offended by anything that has been spoke then unfollow i'm not begging you to be here <laughs> I'm not begging you to be here, but hopefully my rhetoric in terms of how I came to be in, in the way that I am in relation to the transgender community has given somebody some perspective today. You know, um, we don't choose it. I, I didn't choose, you know, I didn't just wake up and say, I want to suck a dick, bitch. Just like they probably don't wake up and say, I want to be a girl today. It it's, it's happens and we're dealing with it. And I feel like this is a part of dealing with it. You got to have a Malcolm X and you got to have a Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
protagonist and antagonist and then you have to have a voice of reason and i hope to be a voice of reason for you today um again the code is boots thrown please 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 comment royal emojis underneath the set uh that i strategically posted after i clapped um at that commentary and i love you guys thank you so much for your purchases again i am on hiatus hours so it might take up to 72 hours for your tip jar order to come in but i am working on those today uh, and we'll get back to our 24 to 48 hour schedule next week at the start of season ooh, seven. Well, you guys have a good day and please listen to the beat of the human heart. We share consciousness. So it might as well feel good. Have a good day.